save her. My daughter. How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here playing some more Breath of the Wild for you guys today as always and today is a special day because it marks episode number 70 which is again going to be a one hour special because it's the 10th episode in the series and also it is the day we do Divine Beast Vana Boris. So Without further ado guys, let's check out the main quest log, make sure we're ready to go. So it says, as you, at last, you are ready to take on Divine Beast Von and Boris. Head for the lookout post where Riju is waiting for you. Riju has told you that a fight with the Divine Beast will go much more smoothly for one who knows how to sand seal surf. Well, lucky for her, I'm an expert sand seal surfer. Actually, before we do the sand seal, let's get our snow boots, eh? You, you! I'll take the snow boots now. A traveler swore he saw you in the Gerudo Highlands, so I've been gnawing on my fingernails with worry. I mean, all the talk about the sword was just chit chat. I didn't know you'd go up there without snow boots. Anyway, are you okay? Feast your eyes! <laughs> what? It really exists! Mm hmm? And you went searching for it without a decent pair of snow boots. I mean, the Gerudo Highlands are unforgiving. I doubt I can survive up there, and I'm burly. Who are you? The snow boots? Yeah, you didn't risk your life to fulfill your promise after all. It'd be pretty uncouth of me to drop my end of the bargain. Just a second, I'll take them off. Thank you. Well, now I'm barefoot, uh, but if you're happy, then I'm happy. And what's more, this whole episode has endeared you even more to me. Your cutely greedy side, your sassy, playful, rude side, your unexpectedly tough side. Um, would you g g go out w w w with... Not a chance. Uh, <sighs> I kind of knew you'd say that, but would it have killed you to let me finish the question? Yes. Yes, it would have. <laughs> Alright, guys. It's time for Divine Beast. We're going to do it with style. Get my sand boots on. Oh, by the way, I'm a dude. Yeah, okay. Just so you know. Alright, we're ready. Let's go! Here we are. Let's check inside real quick. See if there's anything in here. Oh, hey. Oh, a chest. Let me guess. Shock arrows. Ah, golden bow. Durability plus. Unfortunately, I already have a lot of really good bows. Oh. I'm shocked. Despite what the sh chief said, I wasn't expecting someone as short as you. But the chief must have her reasons for believing you can fight the divine beast. She's waiting for you at the top of the lookout post. Hurry up. Copy that, Roger. I am heading up the top of the lookout post. What is this music? We're about to do something epic. That's what this music is. Are you guys ready for this? We are about to fight the Divine Beast, Von and Boris. Let's go. With the Queen of the Gerudo. Well then, that's what you really look like, huh? 
<laughs> With Vo banned from town, it's not very common for me to see someone like you. What a sight. Divine Beast Von de Boris is pretty intimidating. Oh, I thought you were talking about me. <laughs> if we want to get close enough to that thing, we'll need to use sand seals. Are you ready? Let's go. Oh. Feeling confident? Good. Let's get going then. First, we'll use the sand seals to get in really close to that thing. I'll take the lead. I'm counting on you to shoot at its feet with bomb arrows. The Boris draws energy from the ground to keep moving. If you damage the feet, I think you can stop it. Those lightning strikes, though. Getting hit even once could prove fatal. The Thunder Helm can repel the lightning strikes, protecting me from harm. But it can also shield the limited area around me. You'll have to stay close if you don't want to be shocked. Mm. And listen, if you're too injured to keep fighting, promise me you'll retreat here to the lookout post. Don't do anything reckless under any circumstance. Here's some bomb arrows. 20 bomb arrows! Thank you, thank you. And this is the last time I'll ask. Are you ready? Of course! Zap. My name is Riju, descendant of the royal line and leader of the Gerudo people. With the power of the heirloom passed down in my family, I shall calm the divine beast, Von Boris. Ancestors of the Gerudo, answer my call. Aid me in this task. Oh, dang. That's a pretty big area of lightning shield. Oh. Oh wow, I can feel their power coursing through me. Let's move! Let's. <laughs> Lady Urbosa, please grant Lincoln me your protection. Oh man, I'm getting chills. Here we go, boys. Enough talk. Time for action. I gotta try to match her speed as much as I can. So, let's switch to bomb arrows and line elbow, just to make it a little easier. Oh man, we're getting close. We're in the dust storm. Oh, I can't see it. Yo, it's frightening approaching this when you can't see it. This music is awesome. Boy, I think we're getting close. I see it. I see it, guys. We're very close. Oh, boy. Not yet, big boy. You can do this. What's that? Ow. Ready? Let's go, let's go. Oh, I almost died from that. Okay. Gavali's Gale is now ready. Let's go. That's it. Now's our chance. We gotta get closer. We 
Got it. Woo. Only got hit once from that. That's like probably honestly one of the hardest parts of the Divine Beast. We stunned him. He can't really move. We broke his feet. Only momentarily though. Unfortunately, I cannot appease Naboris on my own. I have Naboris. no choice but to entrust the rest to you. Things like, all right, let me do my job, lady. Let me do my job. Wow, they only had like 10 seconds to get up. I want to put that Thunderhound back on, lady. Alright, guys. We made it to Divine Beast Father Boris. Here we go. Oh, man. I have done this in the past, but it's been a while, so I don't really remember it. But I think as we go, it'll come back to me, and we'll be able to do it. Alright. I know that the uh, the boss fight is uh, one of the most challenging boss fights of any divine beast in this game, so... Well, well, well. You sure do know how to keep a woman waiting. I can't wait to see you take Noboris back from Ganon. Me either. One thing at a time. You'll need a map to find your way around. Head over to that guidance stone over there. Sounds easy, right? Right. My master sword is fully glowing. That's right, because we're the divine beast. So far, so good, guys. So far, so good. Let's just head right up here and get the map. That'll help us out. All right, now that we have the map, we can operate this giant beast. I shouldn't say beast, it's more like a giant uh, mechanical beast, a giant robot. Divine beast controls have been enabled. Good work getting the map of the divine beast. The terminals that control Naboris are noted by a series of glowing points on your map. Take Naboris back by activating all of the terminals. You got it. You're ready for this. I know. Alright, there's a chest right there. I'm not sure how to get. There's also a chest down here. I noticed. And this one is so hard to get, guys. I honestly don't even know if it's possible. Uh, I know that we can swing it back and forth, but like... Oh my gosh, it is possible. I've actually never gotten that first try. <laughs> what is it? An ancient core. 
Oh my gosh, every time I've tried to do that, it's failed. All right, awesome. That's a great sign. We're starting this off strong. All right, so let's uh, let's do some rotating of this place, eh? Let's just uh, rearrange the room, shall we? See what we can do. All right, so. Looks like we can bomb this. Oh, hello. Bye bye. Nothing over here. What about over here? Nothing over here. Looks like on the other side we can also bomb that window. Ooh, a chest. Wow, all that just for an ancient spring? Come on. Alright, I think I'm actually gonna ride this thing up to the top. That's a pretty cool view though. Let's ride this thing all the way up top. Very dramatic music, eh? So, it looks like there is a terminal. There's two terminals, like, in this main body area. There's one up here that we're gonna get, and there's also one down in that room over there. Uh, before we jump over to that terminal... Let's check this out. Alright, so... It does look like there is a terminal inside the head of the Divine Beast. Just gotta keep spinning this until we line up the little thingy. Perfect. And then we spin it this way, it'll do the other one. Boom! Oh man! Now we got an elevator straight up to the top of the head. Wait for me. Oh, look at that. That was pretty easy. Our first terminal, guys. We're making progress. There are four terminals remaining. I'm counting on you. So now that we're way up high, there's Gerudo Town, guys. Look at that. They're probably cheering us on because they know we're fighting the Divine Beast. That is a dirty mess. We can't jump through that. Let's just drop back down. Oh my goodness, golly gosh. We should have been able to get up that. Uh, let's just spin this middle... Middle section. Woo, that was close. Almost fell off. A royal bow with quick shot. Well, we need to get every chest in here. Uh, actually, I guess we don't, but... I mean, I got pretty good bows. I think I'm just going to take the, uh, the other chest, to be honest, and not take that one. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was a fail. That was a fail. Keep spinning, baby. Keep spinning. The 
this time for sure. Okay. There we go. There we go. That was awkward. What's in this one? Ancient shaft. Alright, that's actually a little bit better. I'll take that. Now we need to figure out how to get way up there. Um, can I get up that? Uh, Alright. Spin me up. There we go. Alright, now for sure I should be able to jump across this, right? Right? Oh my gosh, you can't do it. Fine, fine, you leave me no choice. Whoa, the head just went back up. Okay, but I'm still not high enough. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna have to get on this giant pedal still thing and then jump over there. That's what I think is gonna have to happen. Or I could do it right here, probably. Alright. Going up. I gotta say, I'm happy we got this Desert Vo outfit. It does really well to make Link uh, fit in with the area. And I think I look really cool. Gosh, this might not be far enough either. Are you kidding me? Okay, we got it. Woo! Second terminal down. There are three terminals remaining. Hang in there. I'm hanging in there. Don't worry about it. Now, let's see. What if I blow up the power source? Oh, okay. Just, just, just checking. So, to get into that, um... I could get in there before it, it did the thing, but... Oh, excuse me. We will get there, guys. It's going, it's going. Hey! Two left, right? There are two terminals remaining. Tell me to stay focused. Alright, so there's one terminal near the top, and then there's one up in, like, the hub. So... Let's see. I see that terminal up there. Or is that the map sensor? Yeah, that's the map sensor. Alright, so let's spin... down here at the bottom. I haven't really checked down here. Is there a door here? There is. Alright, but is there anything actually down here? Not really. This is just like the start of the temple, so... Alright, so... Dang. We need to get to the back, like, tail section of the Divine Beast. That's what I think. I'm not sure how to get back there, but I'm pretty sure that's what we need to do. 
because we already did the uh, the head section, so you just need the, the top, the tail section now. I really wish the Master Sword would not clip through the ground like that. Alright, so... Let's go check out the tail section over here. Okay, we did that. This is where we wanted to go. Wait for the power to get lined up? Okay. So I think all we have to do is like move that over, move that over. Move that over. Boom. There like that. What if I do this? That was an eyeball. Okay, so the final two uh, terminals should have to do with this area. Let's head up here. Ooh, a chest. Topaz, alright. What happens if I push this thingy? Oh, I see. Alright, that kind of like turned on this little thingy. Isn't there a way you could ride on top of that and there's like a chest up there or something? Oh, hi. Literally two hits with this Master Sword. Too easy. Alright, so what is down here? Like, what am I... Is there something down here I should know about? I don't see anything. Oh, I see that thing. Alright. We can't do anything in this room, so let's... Go back up the elevator. We gotta wait a while because it goes way up. Here it is. We need something that will harness electricity and then we can touch it to that thingy right there and then it'll open the door. That's my theory. So where are the electricity thingies? Oh, hi, terminal. <laughs> I didn't even see this. <laughs> One more terminal, guys. One more. Just one terminal remaining. You're almost there. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my gosh, I wanted to get on that elevator so bad. Now I gotta wait for it to go all the way back down. Well, we would have had to wait anyways because it goes all the way up, then all the way down, then all the way up. go. Whoa. 
One more terminal, and it, it looks pretty close. Okay, well, there's the electric ball. Let's drop that. You guys can't even get a swing off on me before you die. They don't even get a swing. Alright, so it looks like I'm gonna need this ball in here after all. And looks like I'm gonna need another one, which I'm guessing is over here. So this is actually the, the head, or the neck, or no it's not, it's the tail, it's the tail. So let's go up the elevator, that's probably where the electric orb thingy is, and then we'll bring it back down. Oh, there it is, well, we found it, but since we're up here, might as well look around, there might be a chest or something. Oh no, this is the same place that we were at before. We just, we went up there and we jumped across right away. We didn't even get this one. All right, cool. That was actually a lot easier than, than I thought it would be. And that's it, guys. We did it. We got all the terminals. Now all we have to do is fight the boss and we completed the well Divide done. Beast. That was the last of the well ahead of schedule. Now, you'll need to start up the main control unit. Not gonna ward me that there's a Take demon a good in there. Look at your map. Head for the glowing mark you see there. You're doing well. How come none of these spirits ward me? Can be a deadly foe. She kind of hinted at it right there. But they never straight up ward me, like, hey, uh, just so you know, the dude uh, that you're about to fight is like a demon. They don't they don't they don't warn me. It's kinda messed up. Where's the trust? <laughs> Hold that window. Okay, okay, so. Let's rotate this bad boy. go guys ready the boss of divine beast na va na boris some say the hardest boss in the game got to take a sip of my drink for this Dares awaken my slumber. Thunderblight cannon. Oh, he's cute. Edge, this formidable adversary was made by Ganon and brought me to a warrior's demise 100 years ago. Do not allow this to be your end. Fight for your life. And it's death. Okay. This thing is fast. Watch yourself. Cool shield.
How do you like that fully charged master sword, big boy? That don't work on me. Oh, get countered. Don't even need to root. Come on, that your best shot? Uh oh, boys, he's called Thunder Blight for a reason. Call the thunder. Watch that lightning. Oh, we will watch the lightning. Do it again. Do it again, huh? Huh? Do it again. Ah. <laughs> Oh yeah, just like that. Nope. Goodbye. We did it! Right? He's dead. Dude, I had two parries in there, just saying, that was good. Goodbye. And this was master mode. That's why I wanted the master sword first, guys. I know I keep saying it, but going for the master sword first before you do the divine beast is a huge boost. 60 damage, one-handed weapon that just destroys the evil, seals the darkness. I mean, it's the freaking master sword. Hearts in the chat, guys. Hearts in the chat. We got another heart container. I forgot we get a heart container. Oh, yeah. Is this going to mark our second row of hearts, finally? Do we get our first heart of our second row? Fun fact, guys. Uh, one time when I was playing Ocarina of Time, I think it was the Forest Temple. I finally beat the Forest Temple. And uh, in that game... It's kind of like this, where uh, after you beat the boss, there's a heart container in the ground, and then there's like a, a blue light that you have to step into, and then you get like teleported out of the dungeon. I accidentally left the heart piece and teleported out of the dungeon, and I was freaking out that I lost the heart piece. I had to go all the way back to the dungeon, go all the way back to the boss room, and luckily the heart piece was still there. So, yeah, I just always remember that every time I see a heart piece laying here, so never forget to pick up the heart piece, heart container. <laughs> yep, second row of hearts. Let's go. All right, now this time for real. Activate Vonaboris. Free the beast. I think we did pretty good on chests. Might have missed one, but we got most of them. Oh uh, yeah, we get Herbosa's fury. Let's go, Lady Herbosa. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Link. Thanks to your valor and skill, my soul is free, and Noboros is ours once again. Which means that finally we can complete what we started years ago. We Gerudo have no tolerance for unfinished business. Herbosa, Gerudo champion, spirit. I've waited so long for the moment to see you finally rush Hyrule Castle. As well as for the moment when I incinerate Ganon into a pile of ash. Oh, I'll rush it, baby. And Which we reminds me, will incinerate Ganon. I wanted to Ganon. give you a little something. Please accept this gift, which has come to be known as Urbosa's Fury. It will no doubt be of use to you. Oh, it will. Um... <laughs> Oh, baby, lightning at my fingertips! Both you and the princess, I know you have suffered much regarding what happened to us champions. But this is how things had to happen. No one need carry blame. So please, make it clear so she understands that. Tell her to shed any worries. And let her know. 
I couldn't be more proud of her. I mean, I'll try, but you know I don't talk, right? So I'm just gonna have to nod my you head and stuff. Take care of the princess. Hopefully she'll get that message, oh, though. and also, take good care of Hyrule. You got it, Urbosa. I won't let you down. Goodbye. Whew. That was epic. Cue the epic cutscene. We still have time to do uh, that one shrine, too. After the Divine Beast, we'll go do that one shrine. And now it won't be storming anymore in Gerudo Town. Or a Gerudo Desert area. How does that thing get up on top of the mountain, like? Oh, like that. I suppose it could just step right up most of these mountains. Divine Beast versus Army of 1000 Guardians. That would be epic. <laughs> The Vibe Beast would still win because of the Lightning Fury thing, I bet. Attack pose! Initiate Laser Cannon! Naboru, Legend of the Gerudo, celebrated over ages. And you, who were named to honor her. You are a legend as well. Isn't that right, Naboris? The bitter essence of defeat from a century ago still sits upon my tongue. But that is now in the past. It was written that Calamity Ganon once adopted the form of a Garuda. And that? will make this victory all the more satisfying. I like that. Now I can take this personally. Once we've established a lock on that thing, it will be up to Link to keep Ganon occupied until the moment we unleash our strike. That moment is going to be so delicious. <laughs> I mean, I thought it was personal when he killed you. <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey, we got the Divine Beast. We got Urbosa's Fury. Come on, guys. This is a great episode. I'm just uh, teleporting right in front of you. Don't worry. I'm just god like that. Urbosa's Fury. A destructive power born from the unbridled anger of Champion Urbosa. Summons powerful lightning to the surrounding area. Triggering a charge attack by holding Y. Hey guys, uh, yeah, so I don't know if you guys noticed, but <laughs> I just defeated Divine Beast Vonda Boris. Pretty much saved your entire town. Oh yeah, and I did it with the queen. Also, uh, the legend of old Lady Urbosa, yeah, her spirit form actually gave me this power. So I'm pretty much the most honored and revered Gerudo person like of all time. I'm basically your hero and your lord. So I think it's cool if I just enter into the town now. Wait, what? Hmm. Uh. Are you kidding me? You still won't let me in after I did all of that? <sighs> Sexist people, man. What can you do? Alright, so, uh, before we head out on this lovely adventure, let's get a sand seal. That will help. Let's grab on. Boy, let's go do this grind. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Uh, bef there is something I had to do in the town itself as part of the quest. If you guys forgot, I already talked to the- oh, yeah, sorry about that, buddy. I already talked to the uh, lady at the shrine, and she's, like, dying of thirst. 
So I guess before we could we we should do that shrine. Let's go talk to Riju and see what she says now that we finish. Come on, Riju, make a proclamation known that I am the only Vo that can enter this town because I am a dang legend. Oh, oh you're back. <sighs> I'm glad you're okay. Truly, I am. The Boris is no longer a threat to the town. I'm still worried about the larger threat to Hyrule, but at least my people won't be troubled by Navoris anymore. I want to offer you these as thanks for your help. I trust you'll accept them. These pieces of equipment are priceless treasures of the Gerudo people. They were once worn by Lady Arbosa. <laughs> Since you and Lady Arbosa were friends, it's only right that you have them. Thank you, Riju. Your Majesty. How about the Thunderhelm? Halt! That is the treasure of the Gerudo, the Thunderhelm. You may be held in high esteem, but this does not give you the freedom to lay your hands on the pride of our people. Sad. You desire this helm? I see, and yet, despite the great debt we owe you, I cannot just give you such a pre precious mm -hmm. thing. But you are up against the enemy of Lady Urbosa. And if you truly desire it, then perhaps I can lend it to you. Well then, let's see how serious you are. This helm is a cultural treasure. To earn it, you must gain the trust of our people. I want you to address their concerns and bring a resolute peace to our town. So basically, we already know that you're powerful, but you can but you can't solve all my people's problems with power alone. All right. Let's see what we got. Scimitar of the Seven, a famous sword once beloved by the Gerudo champion Urbosa. It is said that when Urbosa swung the sword in battle, her movements resembled a beautiful dance. Uh, and I'm guessing we're gonna get a shield as well. So let's check out. Um, drop that one just in case. We can pick it back up if it's not. Daybreaker. This shield was cherished by the Gerudo champion Urbosa. The gold used to make it was handpicked to ensure a design that is both lightweight and very durable. Okay, but gold's not really durable. Um, I really do love the Radiant Shield. Like, I can't just leave it on the ground. I really do love the Radiant Shield, guys. It's like my favorite looking shield. I love every shield I have. Oh my goodness. I guess I don't need two Guardian Shields. Alright, let's check it out, guys. Scimitar of the Seven with Daybreaker. The Gerudo Shields are so beautiful. Look at that scimitar too. Epic. Too bad I can't wear my mail outfit in here. Alright, so... This one, the ice guy. Right. No, 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 not that one. It's a shrine quest. Perfect drink. Alright. We gotta talk to the, uh, talk to the barkeeper over here. And then we can do the shrine real quick. We got just enough time in this one hour special. We should be able to do the shrine, and that will pretty much be the end of the episode. Alright, let's see, he should be right here, or she, okay, my bad. Vasak, a Hylian Vi, huh? I can't tell how old you are, but this place is definitely not for your, your young. Because the drinks we make here are different from regular drinks, for one, they have a rare treat, a treat in them, ice. Do you have a Noble Pursuit? You want to try our signature drink, the Noble Pursuit? Unfortunately, I need a huge amount of ice to make that drink, and I'm fresh out right now. Besides, it's a really strong drink. Even if I could make it, I wouldn't sell it to a little Vi like you. Actually... <gasps> what'd you say? Pokey's collapsed? Mm -hmm. I want to help her out, but I can't make you know what without the ice! There's ice at the ice house, but my legs aren't in best shape. Alright, I'll go get your ice, lady. Ooh. Yep. Mmm. Mmm. If you bring the ice to the entrance of the ruins between Town Ice House, I could take it from there. Alright. Sounds easy enough. Aww. Oh, Vi from out of town. Savak. Sniff. I wanted to plant an orchard, so I picked up trash, I pulled the weeds, I tilled the grounds. I did all the stuff you're supposed to do to make the soil happy, but... But... The trash. All this trash keeps getting washed out in the water trying. No, I can't use the water anymore. Oh, finally, guys, we have the uh, the quest, the mystery polluter. 
probably we had to do uh, Vadaboris first, so we'll do that one next episode as well. Alright, so... Let's put on our, uh, our, de our desert boots. So we can walk faster in the sand. Our sand boots. Actually, I, I don't like wearing the girl clothes either, so let's just do that. I'm gonna have to do a cooking with Lucian pretty soon because we are running low on food. Alright, so there looks like there's enemies all over. Um, by the way, guys. By the way, hold up. Let's summon Lady Urbosa's Amiibo. That's right. We defeated the Divine Beast, Vanaboris. So that means we can now attempt Lady Urbosa Amiibo for the Divine Beast. On the Boris helm. Will we get it first try? Or will it be like the other two helms and be the fifth try? Oh, dang. Not first try, but that's a really good shield. Uh, it's got durability plus, so I'm gonna drop that one. And pick up this one, because it's even stronger. Alright, so it wasn't the first try. Maybe it will be the fifth try. We'll see. Um, let's see. Do you think I could just... Do something like... Speed things up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Just speed things up just a tiny bit. There we go. Alright, so this must be the ice house. Underneath the shade, of course. This is Ice House, used for storing the ice brought down from the mountains. Seeing as we live in the desert, it's pretty important stuff. So I guard the Ice House 24 hours a day. Actually. <sighs> I see. Well, if Yorosa wants ice, then you should bring her some. You're permitted to take some ice. You've taken the heat into account, right? If you move too slowly, the ice will surely melt. For Rosa has no use for water. Alright, so I have to try to stay in the shadows, I'm guessing. All right, here we go. Ooh, this is gonna take a while. We should have enough time, but I guess we'll see. Maybe I should do this at night? Eh, whatever. Let's just go. I must use the shade. By the time I get there, it'll be night anyways. Let's just follow the shade. I know we're going to get attacked here. Maybe we should summon Wolf Link, like, before we get attacked. He might actually help us here. Alright, Wolf Link, I actually need you to guard me here, so... Trying to stay in the shade as much as possible. Okay, Wolf Link, go get that lizard boy. Yep, go get him. He had uh, fire arrows, didn't he? Definitely gonna pick those up. Good job, boy. Good job. You got that bad lizard. Yeah, five fire arrows. <laughs> What if the ice just broke? Oh, Silver Boy. How dare you. Oh, it's nighttime now, so now it's cold anyways. I don't think that time matters, just the temperature, so... As long as the ice doesn't melt... I think we're fine. Alright, now it's too cold, so let's put on... 
put on our jacket. Still got our sand boots on. Alright, now that it's uh, nighttime. Yeah, I don't think it melts at all anymore. Good job, Link. I mean, uh, Zubor. Keep him distracted. Let's try to walk all the way around these guys so I don't have to fight them. Now that it's uh, nighttime, I don't have to worry about the sun. Wolf Link. Oh, there's a chest right there. Hold up. Don't fight him. Don't fight him. Oh god, he's gonna go fight him. Alright, well, he'll distract him. Whatever. Okay, wasn't worth. Wasn't worth. Bad chest. Terrible damage. Only 14 damage. Come on. Alright, Wolf Lake. Keep him busy. Oh gosh, dang it. What do you want? No, leave the ice! Don't ever touch my ice. Did you see him pick that up? He was trying to throw it at me or something, or trying to steal it. All right, Wolf Link, don't die on me. Don't die on me. Okay, he died. Thank you, Wolf Link, for your service. Your sacrifice shall never be forgotten. Holy cow, there's three chests over here. Wait, is that a mimic? It was a mimic. All right. All right, I think we made it. We just gotta bring it right up here to the top. Here's your ice. Hey, over here, this way. Bring the ice over here. Yes, I'm working on it. Uh. Did somebody ask for ice? Hmm, you're, well, whatever. I don't care who you are. As long as I get my ice. Oh, yeah, I'm different. <laughs> Looks like the ice is in good shape, Sarsko. With this, I'll be able to make the ultimate noble pursuit. Sorry, but could you please let Pokey know? Tell her that I made the best one ever, and I've got it waiting uh. for her. Knowing her, she'll probably come running when she hears that there's an amazing drink with her name on it. Will do, will do. We're gonna have just enough time to make it to this shrine, baby. Would help if I had a sand seal, though, because I'm, like, kind of far from it. Oh, yeah, I'm way far from it. Um... Dang. Oh, let's go grab a sand seal real quick. Sorry about that, bud. I don't want to surf on this shield. There we go. Where are you going? He tried to escape. Good thing we got a sand seal. This would have taken forever otherwise.
made it! I can't take it anymore. I'm going to rot. Actually. Huh? Did you say the best noble pursuit ever? Pff, I'm gone. Wow. Wow. You just run back home. Wow. So you weren't even really that tired or injured to begin with. Okay, well, we got the shrine, guys. That's all that matters. One step closer to getting the Thunder Helm, too. If we help all the Gerudo people with their quests, we'll be able to get the Thunder Helm. Which I'm pretty sure we've pretty much done. Uh, there might be one or two more quests. I know we have to do the, the Dirty Polluter one or whatever, or Mystery Polluter, which I tried to do, like, the first time I went to the town, but... Ooh, is this a blessing? Yep. Mise Suma's blessing. After all that and getting the ice, I'm not surprised. Seems like all we do is get blessings, though. A diamond. I mean, I'll take it. With that, I could recraft one of these epic weapons. And another spirit orb, which obviously I will take. So next episode, guys, I'm thinking we might start the sword trials. Otherwise, we're probably just going to do a little bit of exploring in Hyrule. Uh, visit some areas that we haven't visited yet. Uh, I'm not going to go straight to Divine Beast Varuta. Oh, check it out, guys. I got the camel boss on there now. It didn't put him in order, though. It, it put the camel in the middle for some reason. Even though I did the lizard, the bird, then the camel. So I guess the order which you do them doesn't matter. It will put them in whatever order it wants up there. So, yeah, even though we're pretty much getting close to being done. Actually, that might be the place where you fight the Molduga. I'm going to mark this on my map. So we can go fight him again because I think we might need to fight the Bulduga again just to upgrade some armor. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. What a perfect episode, man. We did the Divide Beast and we were able to do this sh shrine, which I think was the last shrine in the area. Um, let me know if, I, if I'm wrong, obviously. But yeah, so can't wait for the future of the series. Even though we've done a lot, we're probably only about halfway done. We, uh, well, maybe, more, maybe a little more than halfway. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be awesome. I still want to do this area up here. I haven't visited at all. There's a labyrinth and some lionels, I think. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be epic, guys. So epic. The, the sword trials on master mode. I've been nervously thinking about that in the, in, the, in the back of my head. So I can't wait to try that. Whew. Drop a like, guys. Subscribe for more. This is Lucian Sword. Take it easy.